What's up guys? Welcome back to JK Fishing. Today we're heading out on Lake Ontario fishing for salmon today. We're here with Johnny behind the hand camera and Michael Taranko. We've got a lot of new methods we're going to try, so we'll see you on the water. Small one. Oh, yeah, he went under the fucking boat. Another one. That's the that's the dip he hit you wanted, eh, Mike? Exactly. That's yeah. the hit you wanted. Wow, that was awesome. Awesome. Really? Oh boy. Flooded finisher. Flooded. Ah, you know what? That's pretty the average size you're gonna get out of here. You know what else I like to see on Rager? There you go. Set the hook. Short strike again. Gone. So guys, lead core, Johnny's got it. Every rod in this boat is hit except for that dipsy right now. Which is which is pretty cool to see. Gotta keep that rod just tight. Wait. Yeah, she's still there. Oh, Nelly, Nelly. I told you. Boy, we're, get, we're getting a butterball size today. I like oh that. my god. It's a kohu. Yes, boys. It's a kohu. 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 That's another one in the boat, guys. See you soon. Oh, oh, fish. Oh, fish, Lipsy. Gone. It's gone. Nope. It's gone. Nope. It's gone. Oh yeah, boys. Brand yeah. new flash That's why you change stuff up. Yeah, I, I, I didn't rip. know. I didn't know that it was going. That thing was going, man. Hundred feet too. Shallow bite, man. No, what I say? What I say? Hey, hey, I picked the, the flash here. <laughs> That's a good fish, Mike. That's, a, that's over Bro, 10 pounds. It has a lamprey on it. That's over oh, 10 pounds. Oh, look at that thing sucking on it. Atta boy, guys, you gotta see this fish. She came in. Wow. Oh, and the hook's out. That's lamprey. like, what did you give it, like 11 pounds? Oh, that's a nice one. That's a good salmon. Uh, I'm gonna flam and get this out right away. Nice Pacific, well, not Pacific, Great Lake skiing salmon. Look at that. Show the lamprey mark on it. Look at you, buddy. That Step on his head. That little lamprey, which is actually a type of fish, it was made that hole in the side of him. So what these yeah. fish do, they latch on and they're parasites, right? They feed off the fish and a lot of times the fish end up dying due to even the, the open wound or just the lamprey itself. Yeah. So uh, they're a little bit of a problem in the Great Lakes. So you see lampreys, kill them. Yeah, this guy is, uh, something bad's gonna happen to him. We're deciding what, Mike, you got any ideas? <laughs> I don't think we should disclose it on camera. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, look at that screen, guys. It's beautiful. Alright, guys. I brought the rigger up. I had some meat running deep, because just in case there's some big king sitting down dormant out there, but it's shallow. Brought up 60 feet, gave it, what, five minutes? Like, you don't realize. It's not even don't seven o'clock. Don't worry about that. It's been an hour and a half of rods going off. So. Should I just throw the Get her in. You like the motor? Bro, oh, this, this meat's gonna take his third fish down. Oh, I'm sending it. her back oh, out. It, uh, there's, oh. one. there's one. 
Nikita. Johnny's really aggressive. Gone. <laughs> no, he's on. That's off the, that's off my, uh, yeah, he's on. Nice one, Johnny. Almost in the motor. Well, I didn't think he was that small. <laughs> so, I, like, I don't know what just happened. Alright, guys. Wait, wait, wait. We're going to show you this tiny fish. Little Fuck him! It's our future! And, and she's got. Oh, what? Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 get it, get it. No, no. There's no one here. Another one on the rigger. There oh. we go, baby. Not bad? Yeah, that's why, Mike, that's why you didn't need a crank. You felt weight right away, eh? No. Alright, guys. Get back to you soon. Yeah. Bug box did you? Well, my reaction to fish? <laughs> the sandwich? Ooh, I've never, like, water's in his hands in under 0.5 seconds. Gone. Nope. Oh, I'll take the sandwich. Bud has the sandwich in his mouth right now. Not anymore. I think it's gone. The sandwich is gone. You eat it? Oh, too bad. Second minute to the bay. Not either. Where you go, guys? Get it back out. Hey, get it back out. Yeah, let me get the Good fish shape. in the boat first, son. Johnny's too slow, guys. Johnny, bro, you just lost the 10 fish. So, Mike's hooked up on the dipsy there, and that thing went off right as the war attack. Is this purple? That's not a war purple. attack, man. Purple. It's not a war attack, it was a normal raid. So guys, again, <laughs> nice fish. He ripped a good 30 yards. You can't see, but look at that loop from that last attack. But um, guys, so green was hit in the morning, sun comes up, it's around 7.40 right now. We've had consistent action, but it's been on purple. Change up. We're going to switch to purple now. We'll see if that does anything. We'll keep some greens in the water, and it could that's just all be it that is. this one flash is this. But you got you got to keep on trying. You got to keep on swapping out because you never know. That one decision could make 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 and break. It's, a, it's so. a give or take. You got to spin the lottery numbers and uh, see what works. You might hit it. You might not. Oh, fish! 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 Double header, no shot. No way! No way! And I'm all alone, steering and with the net. It just came off. It just came off. Bam, that's the third fish you've lost today, blood. <laughs> I can't do this. So guys, let me tell you something. Joe has just been losing fish non-stop. Now get the rod in, because I need you to steer. Yeah, because they're so camouflaged. She's so crazy. Oh, he tried to take a dive at the motor. Yeah. That's not a bad fish, Mike. Not a bad one, boy. Let's get some more. I'm done bringing in fish today. Oh, I'm, I'm done bringing in. I'm just handing rods to other people. I'm, I'm not. I'm like two for five today. Yo, so the lead core, he pulled it up and there's a little shaker on there. Mike hands the rod to Johnny. Immediately the rigger goes and Mike grabs it. How small is that? The issue is, keep our limit when you let that guy go. Now it's on. Another fish on the dip seat. I can't lose it. They're all like that, like five to nine pound range. Oh, in the bottom of the Almost. Johnny, put it last. Last. Yeah, I'm trying. Wow, well, that was a coat. Oh. I can't reel really anymore. It hit the line. Back then. Hit the rigger line. Didn't go over. Go oh. oh, back more. The sea fleas on the braid, eh? Right as Johnny's playing with this fish, uh, the meat on the rigger got hit. So two meat bites, and that's what I predicted. As the sun came up, it switched into a meat bite. And they're hitting even more. Like, we weren't taking many fish on the meat in the morning. It was more of a natural. I mean, meat's natural, but like a spoon, flash your fly. Now meat's getting just killed. Both of them are going to be out of the water. No way. Gone? Yeah, that was... This fish hit as I was brought, bringing the rigger up. It's the volume on Classic Clans, man. I'm telling you. Johnny, if you want to steal, I'll go for that. What? Uh, no, I'm moving. I... This is so bad. I lose him. My luck to foul him. I lose him. Oh, bro, he's dead. Congratulations. There's, there's guts coming out of him. So that's what sucks. We like to let these little guys go. 
The hook just ripped open its gut cavity and there's blood yeah. flying everywhere right now. So we put him to use. He's dead. There's a massive laceration in him. Like show that show the camera. I don't even know if YouTube would let us show that. Yeah, let's not maybe. No, I'm not I'm not I'm not really five hundred feet of leg core for this fish. So uh, before the camera came on guys, you you yeah. heard the Clash of Clans intro music to the right of it. As he loaded up the game and every time he goes on we hook a fish, it's actually it's comical. So it's only fitting that he reels it in. Ah here you go, Mike. Yeah. Because that's dra it's the drag setting is so important. Oh yeah, it oh, came off. off. Oh. Bro, why did you horse? I think uh, Johnny's trying to catch up to me with lost fish. Yeah. That's one. You've lost four. I've lost three, three fish, and I've landed three. That fish came up to hit that one. We're gonna check the hook on the spuma. We saw them come up to 49 on the, the screen. They're really active and they're hitting everything today, which is good. Because I think we're marking a lot of fish, but not a lot of bait. And uh, they're hungry, they're feeding, so. I don't know what to say. That was a decent one. Is that fish that on the surface there, Mike fought him, I'd say perfectly. Fish charged surface, he kept it tight, drag was set right, pop. Hook didn't come out, hook came off. So this is salmon candy spoon. What do you think of the spoon, Mike? You was explain to me. I mean, I'll tell you this. The spoon, the colors, they produce well. But honestly, the quality of the spoons, they're, I feel like they could be slightly better, but nonetheless, they are good spoons. They do produce a lot of fish. That pit, that would As you can off. see, it, it is beat off and stuff. You have a bunch uh, is it the flimsy of scratches. One? Yeah, but it's very it's flimsy. It Look at that, guys. Anyways, wow. It's yeah. been about 40 minutes no, wait, since we've it. seen action. No, we have been specifically searching because Johnny is in desperate wanting of a lake trip. Yeah. So we've been specifically searching for one for him. You feel on there, bud? Ah, me. Watch be a salmon, he's gonna be depressed. God. Ah, uh, wait a yeah. He's actually here to catch. <laughs> there was always a fish. Oh my god. So is this going in the aquarium? She's going back in the water, back in the drain. Alright guys, so I promised at the beginning of the video that I explained what we're doing differently today in the intro. Um, so now I'm going to talk about it. Today has been a decent day for numbers. Uh, we cannot keep fish for our life. Like, a you can't. Yeah, okay, everyone's lost a decent amount, whether it's tackle failure or just like lines tight, fish just spits the hook on top, so nothing we can really do. But what we're doing differently today, we are running meat. It's something we haven't done for the past three and a half years, and we decided to try it. Um, I met up with a member of uh, Raz Fishing, uh, Hunter Zockley. I fished with him. He showed me kind of like how he uses meat, and I'm with Michael Taranko. He uses meat as well. So we're like, you know what, let's try some Twinkie rigs. And that's what we did today. Um, they're not bad. We have just a single hook. We have some Ballyhoo cut bait. Very simple. Just, you know, three squids on a tw Twinkie rig to a little head here, toothpick. And we've been switching up the flashers in front. We have green and purple colors. Uh, that's basically it, guys. Meat, I find, I mean, this is the first time using it, but from what I hear from other people, they swear by it in the summer. Everyone on the South Shore, or the North Shore, sorry, they swear by it. It's all they run. Funny thing is today, spoons have been taking a lot of fish. And I guess meat, the biggest thing is the scent and then uh, how natural it is. But overall, it's just like running a flash or fly. It's just a little bit extra for the meat, like 10 bucks for a pack of six or seven piece of cup bait and they're, they're pretty durable so yeah that's what we've been doing differently today 
Uh, would I recommend using it? I've only used it once today. It, it's been a flasher fly bite for the past couple of weeks, so I expected meat to hit. And yeah, so if you want to try it, sure. If you're just starting out salmon fishing, I'd stick to spoons and flash or fly for now because meat does get expensive. The whole twin, just the rig itself is like 30 bucks, plus the flasher, plus the, the meat as well. You got to get new meat, keep it in a fridge or a freezer. Sorry. So, yeah. All right. Well, it, it, it was a good day at the start. It was. Uh, we basically followed the fish as they headed west, I guess. I don't like it. We did everything right to start the day. I mean, sun came up around 8.45, dead. Um, we tried to go in, we tried to go deep, and we didn't want to go out to 250, 300. We said, screw it, we'll play around, and it is what it is. We had a good time out here. Johnny doesn't want to go in the water because it's only 72 degrees, but <sighs> yeah, it's tough. One but... more note. I'm just putting this out there. We would have had our limit if Joe didn't lose any fish. I, I look because I lost three. You lost two. I lost one. They, you lost two. I lost one. You lost two. I lost one. Two. One. We're gonna. It's gonna be on this video that you lost. Anyways, two fish. guys, we're gonna keep on arguing. Stay tuned for the next video. That's, That's great.